guys just down here at the farm doing a little bit of training. Um, I did this once already this year, but trees are really growing with all this rain we've been having. Um, so I'm pulling down some more limbs up higher. Um, reposition some of the ones that were down low so that they were out further from the tips. Uh, this is a, one reason why I really like these welded wire cages. You can really stack up the wires. I'm working on this Northwest Greening right now and it's got a lot of growth that needs to be pulled down. So I'll be using a bunch of this. I went to, Wal uh, to Menards and where is it? Grab some of this 12 gauge wire. Um, I think it was like, gosh, I don't even remember how much it was. It wasn't very much, 12 bucks maybe. Um, I'm using that to pull down on the limbs a little bit and get them horizontal. And I'll have to do some pruning this, this winter on this one, get rid of some of these. But it's a really good grower. I don't know what I'm gonna do up top there. I cut, I already cut a couple of them that were fighting the central leader. It must've been about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. And a couple of the lower ones are already shot up and want to compete with it. So I don't know if I'll, I don't know, wire all that distance. I might end up doing that, just to pull those down a little bit. I've seen guys with some weight um, attached to their, their clothes pins. I might have to end up trying to work something out like that. I do have a clothespin up there pushing one of them out. I had ones on those other ones, but it just grew too quick. So I'm going to do this to all the trees today. Heck of a nice day in the 80s. Got some work to do. Have a good day, guys. Hey, guys. July 16th here. Just down here doing some um training at the trees and came over to these macintosh i believe they're macintosh or paul red um and noticed there's some ugly looking fruit on here every once in a while um i don't know if my spray didn't get to it or what and um there's quite a few of them on here so i'm going through um pulling off some of the ones that are kind of ugly deformed um i don't know if bird got into them or worms i don't i don't even know um, so doing that, um, like one that's deformed, kind of not looking right, um, I'll pull that off. Just want to keep a nice healthy tree, um, bigger apples. I've noticed on, uh, I think it's ha a Harrelson over there. These old trees, I don't know what they are. I've talked to that, about that before, but on that Harrelson last year, it had a ton, a huge crop. And I uh, thinned it way down, and the apples turned out the best they've ever, ever been. And there was a ton of them still on it. So um, I've never actually thinned the Macintosh here, but might as well try it this year. Um, my spray, my last spray that I did, um, two day, I think it was two days ago, um, came a little bit late, and scab started setting on the leaves. You can kind of see it there in the sun. Um, it's not terrible, definitely better than it has been in years past, so um, if I could keep up on a, a good spray schedule, I think I could do it. I could uh, eliminate that pretty much, so just wanted to show you what I was doing down here, guys. Hey guys, just down here at the farm, wanted to give you a, a fall update. Um, I just got done push, picking, I don't know, over a bushel off of the old Paula red trees. Um, that was probably close to two bushel. Forgot I picked this one too. Um, apples look awesome this year. The spray really helped me get some nice clean apples. Um, these trees are usually just caked and scab at this time and fallen, fallen, these are falling off and you can see some uh, it looks like scab to me. I don't see any the rough spots underneath the leaves for cedar, cedar apple rust. I, uh, I stopped spraying. I think my last spray was middle of July, something like that. And a little bit of disease got to them after that. Um, you can see I have some apples left to pick up there. I'll probably leave them for next weekend. Um, I've been making, um, some apple crisp. Uh, we made... 
gosh, applesauce, ton of applesauce, um, and I've been dehydrating apples. That's my new, my new favorite thing to do. Um, the deer have been in here, mostly does and fawns, eat, picking up these ones that are fallen. I got some clover growing in here finally. Um, the stuff that I planted a couple years ago, a clover looks just boobs. Man, it looks awesome. Um, the deer are kind of in here nipping. I overseeded it in rye. Um, you can kind of see some rye growing up in there where it was kind of a little bit less um, clover growing, but looks awesome. The oats over here where I have the new, uh, new planted apples, those oats have some, you can kind of see the clover growing in there. That was from the spring. And then out, out here, sorry. Out here you can see um, I have a bunch of rye growing um, and new seeding of clover growing there to where I'll probably end up planting a bunch more apple trees next year going out to the apple trees that are out there so um, I just ate my first apple from a tree that I grafted um, I had two of them on this Connell red here there's one left and that was an awesome tasting apple. Um, the one that's on here, the backside's pretty green still, so I left it. But I might grab it and eat it when I, uh... here I got somebody pulling up. I might grab it and eat it when I, for lunch one of these days. Cousin just pulled up, I gotta talk to him. All right, a couple more apples that Produce this year. There's only one Arkansas black on there this year. Planters looking all right. Looks like the deer nipped in and grabbed some there. Whoops. Everything that I grafted is still growing in there. Uh, another pear tree I'm about ready to give up on. And then I have a couple of apples on the Enterprise. By the looks of it, uh, some birds got to a couple of them, but a couple of them on there I get to try. Probably uh, try one here in just a little bit, let you know how it is. It's all the apples I got this year. Um, I picked some Whitney. I think I had five or six I got to eat, and they were a really good apple. Um, that was late August, early September, I think I, I got those. I planted pumpkins out there this year, but... Find them a little too late, they're still turning orange. Frost got them, so I think they're a lost cause this year. That's all I got. Have a good day, guys.